Congratulations, Roseanne. You done played yourself. Somewhere Tom Arnold is rolling around laughing. So, Roseanne's show got canceled after, like... I didn't like the show that much anyways. And uh, my boyfriend's mom went in on it because um, she was like, How come in 10 years there's no growth? There's no, no one, everyone's still living at the same house. No one's done anything with their lives. And then I was like, and they got the same couch. <laughs> they ain't changed couches in 10 years. <laughs> so she didn't like it. I didn't like it either. I, I didn't like it for my own reasons. I felt like, I felt like the episode I saw, my sister really liked it. But I felt like the episode I saw was like, You know, it wasn't that, it wasn't that funny. I didn't laugh that much. I felt like they were trying, I felt like they were trying too fucking hard to be these Midwestern people. And the one episode with the Muslims was like, it made me not like Roseanne the character. So I was like, she thinks that these people are just minding their own business and you're out here bothering them and trying to say they're terrorists just because they're Muslim. I didn't like that. Uh, at the end she learns her lesson but why should that even be a lesson that you have to learn is mind your own business stop calling the police on black people stop going to muslim people's homes and thinking that they're terrorists knock it off like mind your own business what the fuck why should that be a lesson that anyone has to learn that that should be just be that should just be what it is mind your business just mind your business that's all just mind your business solid solid fresh prince of bel-air reference from myself so, her co show got canceled. And I'm actually really proud of ABC for like acting so quickly. They took that show off quickly. They said, We canceled! Next case! Uh, next case! So, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, no, I thought what I just said was hilarious. Um, I thought that was really good. So, um, yeah, I, I kudos to them because most people would have done nothing because the show actually was, like, one of the highest rating shows, you know, of 2017, 2018 on ABC. And they still canceled it because they were like, what you said was not fucking cool, dog. And I feel bad. The only people I really feel bad for are the people who, like, um, hold on, let me eat a little soup. Got some soup. A little soup. The only people I feel bad for are the actors the people who actually started it like when they were doing the show they went to a town like in proximity to and where where um i forget what the name of the town is on the show but they went to that part of the country spoke to people in the neighborhood you know got their opinions on what the world was like what their life was like and then try to implement on the show and really try to be kind of like a teaching tool for the show it's too bad roseanne fucking ruined it with her big mouth and the thing is, like, I, I kind of, I like Roseanne, but I don't, like, love Roseanne. I'll get rid of, I'll cancel anybody. Ain't nobody above reproach. I'll cancel anybody, really. But, um, but I like her, but not enough to be letting her go out here and say racist shit, you know? But, um, basically she said that, I forgot the lady's name. Her name was, um, it's like Jared? Valerie Jared. You know, she worked with the Obama administration, and she said she was a uh, plan of the apes meets the Muslim Brotherhood had a baby. And at first, I was like, because mm, ah! you know, I say Paula Abdul looks like that monkey from Planet of the Apes all the time, because she does. Actually, I'm not even sure that wasn't Paula Abdul. I'll look it up. That might have been her. That's probably why she looked that monkey. That was probably her. Anyways. So I say that all the time about pe about Paul Abdul. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I was like, is that racist or is that just like some like that monkey was played by Paul Abdul, so it looks like Paul Abdul. But then someone kind of broke it down a little bit. Uh, Layla Lynn on uh, she is a YouTuber. And she was saying why I was racist is because the connotations and the historic um, the historic applications of black people being dehumanized compared to gorillas, apes, and monkeys. And um, that's the reason why it was racist is because the historical context. And some things are like that. Some things are like, ooh, crows, bitch. Oh, bitch. Some things are like that where it's racist because of the history behind it. So it wouldn't be racist if you guys weren't using it as, you know, 
a way to dehumanize black people historically. So, um, I was like, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right. But was the intent racist, though? Was the intent to be racist? I don't think so. I think the intent was to say she looked like one of those Planet of the Ape monkeys. That was the uh, attempt. But, however, because of the historical context, it can, and it was took, taken as having racial undertones. Which I don't, I don't think that's what, it, what she meant. But, it is what it is. And you gotta watch what you say out here in these streets. Especially when you're a public figure like Roseanne. I mean, she probably thought she was too big for her britches because everyone says, hold on, did I take a little soup break? A little soup break. French onion. Everyone says that when she was doing the Roseanne show, the first time she was a tyrant. She would fire people on the fly. She she was just do, she controlled the network because she had that shmoney and she was making them that shmoney. So she controlled the whole network basically. She could do what she wants. She could kill people off. She's like whatever. If I don't like you, I'm getting rid of you. She probably thought she still had that same power because the show was doing well. Think again, bitch. Think again. You know you don't got that power around here. ABC said it. ABC said we got the power, and we'll get a new show. We don't need Roseanne's show. And I, I just feel bad for the people, the actors, you know. Those people who just got their first break. Like the, the kid who plays the son. The, the gay son, you know. I don't know if he's gay or not. I don't know why I said that. The kid who plays the son who likes to wear skirts and dresses. And the, the little daughter and everything. And everyone who was making the money coming back. Like, oh god, I need this money. I haven't worked in Hollywood in so long. And now they're all out of a job. And now there's like this, this negative mark on the show. And then I was looking at something else. And apparently Roseanne, hold on, actually, let me look it up. Somebody said, um, Roseanne has compared black women to monkeys before. So I was like, really, Roseanne? Really? They said that this isn't the first time she's done something like that. Um, here we go. Roseanne Barr has a history of calling black people, black women, apes. All right, this is on Blativity. Vidi, 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 vidi. 2013, Rose, uh, okay, so 2018, Valerie Jarrett. 2013, I apologize for comparing Susan Rice, a black woman, to an ape. I should have known better. 2018, Susan Rice is a, uh, made to Susan Rice is a big, is a man with big swinging ape balls. Barr wrote this time. Barr apologized on Tuesday for a comment. Once a racist, always a racist. So I guess she's already done this before. Which she should have known better if you've already done this before. If you keep calling people apes and calling people monkeys. And it didn't go well the first time. Then why would you do it a second time? Um, but just some people just don't need Twitter. The president, Kanye West, Zelia Banks, Roseanne Barr. I feel like Ted Nugent. I, I ain't seen no tweets from him as of late, but I feel like he's another one that might try to go on a Twitter tirade. But those are the five people I can think of that do not need Twitter. Do not need any kind of public media thing where they can send, stuff in, send something on the fly. Uh, because they abuse it. Most of them Gemini's. <laughs> I do not like Gemini's. Gemini's are so crazy. <laughs> They're crazy. They're crazy. I can't keep up with Gemini's, but... Um, uh, is Roseanne Barr a Gemini? We can, then we can figure out if she, we can add her to the list. I love the internet. Barr. Jim. We'll see if she's a Gemini and then this will conclude what I feel about Geminis. Let's look at her birthday. Because I have a thought about Geminis. They some old damn flip floppers. Soup break. Finally, that soup done. Slow down. She's not a Gemini. She is not a Gemini. But she got a Gemini spirit. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, tough break for you, Roseanne. You know, maybe you'll make another show or get another show or something, but you can't be racist when you're on TV.